Hi guys, Rachel Jones here. I'm your independent Scentsy consultant and welcome back to my channel. So today, as promised, I'm going to be getting through my ginormous box of empties. I have not done one of these um, review videos in forever. It has been weeks, so I have quite a bit to go through. So let's just start from the top. Um, I've been digging into my brick of Skinny Dippin'. This is so good. This is like tropical melon. There might be like apples and pears in here. Oh, it's, it's just like tropical heaven. I love it. And it for me, it's a really great performer. I had this going yesterday. As you can see, I got through quite a bit. I have three and a half cubes left. So I'm really enjoying this one. Um, these bricks, you guys, are only available through Sensi Club. So this is a brick. It's almost six bars of wax. This is a bar. So you see the difference here? Huge difference. So if you melt a lot like I do, it would behoove you to get a Scentsy Club so you can pick up a brick for sure. Okay, next thing I've been working through is black raspberry vanilla. Also in brick form, I've got only two and a half cubes left in here. Um, some say, and, and, and I think it may be true that the, the brick form isn't, doesn't last as long as the bar form. However, I still continue to buy it in the brick form because I go through so much of this. So when, my, when I use other like vendor, well, I shouldn't say vendor wax, but I use wax from Walmart, like Better Homes and Gardens and um, what's the other one? It's in here. Better Homes and Gardens <clears throat> and Sensationals. Um, the reason why I love Scentsy Wax so much is because it's like butter. It melts instantly like butter in a saucepan. It is just so amazing. And those other waxes tend to burn my warmers. It doesn't matter what, if I put one, even if like, especially if I put two cubes in one warmer, I'm telling you every time it, it's, it chars my warmers, which I can clean them, but it's a pain in the butt. But black raspberry vanilla, it, it's amazing. You stick this in your warmers if you wanna clean them. You warm it for a day or two. You wipe out your warmers and they're perfectly clean. This is a cleaner, cleaning bar. It is, it is just amazing and it smells amazing. You can't go wrong. It's black raspberry vanilla. Come on guys, it's amazing. Okay, the next thing I got through, I know I have two in here, is some Scentsy soaps. Listen you guys, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you up until I met Scentsy, <laughs> I was a shower girl and I'm still a shower girl most days of the week because I don't have time, but especially on Saturdays, even Sundays now I started and because Mondays are my days off, I've been taking bat a bath those three days instead of showering. So I've been going through a lot of soap. So I finished up one in sea salt and avocado and one in apricot vanilla. So these are you guys, they are amazing. First of all, they smell amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, and and these, these two Scentsy Soaks, they also come in bar form and wax form. They also come in, I'm not sure about apricot vanilla, but they come in the fragrance flowers. They come in the car bars, um, a lot of things. So, but my favorite out of these two was definitely sea salt and avocado. It was very strong scented. It's cool. It turned my water green, which I thought was, I don't know. I loved it. Um, so sea salt and avocado is pink sea salt, orange and avocado. Yeah, pink sea salt, orange and avocado. You guys, it doesn't smell like an avocado. An avocado doesn't really have much of a smell anyway, but it's just like this creamy, sweet, oh my goodness, it's, you guys, it's so good. You got, you guys have got to pick up these, these soaks. I, I'm getting them confused with the fragrance flowers. Those are 12. Oh man, I'm having a brain fart. I want to say they're, they're 16. No, maybe they're only 12. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know. I don't have my phone close by, so I can't check, but <clears throat> um, you can buy these individually or you can add these to your Scentsy Club. Um, but and actually, there's a Mother's Day bundle now. So you can get, pick these up in, I believe, Sparking, Sparkling Magnolia and Whipped Lavender Vanilla. So you got to try them out. They're so good. I probably use too much in my bath. I use like one to two cups every bath. So I do go through it a lot, but it just leaves your skin so soft. 
and you smell delicious all day. Your skin smells so good. I just love it. Okay, so I got through some pods. And I know it's a little late in the season for this, but I wanted to, I don't like the pod sitting around for like a year or two years. I like, like to use them up. So I got through a pod and pumpkin roll, which this was really good. I can still smell it, but I don't think it was scenting um, my Scentsy Go anymore. So I switched it out. And then I also got one through in Pina Colada Cha Cha. This was also very good. This is, you know, like pineapples, coconut, um, like a drink on the beach. So good. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, also, I have going in my Scentsy Go right now, Pink Sugarberry Mint. I love this. I love this so much. And speaking of Pink Sugarberry Mint, I melted that this week. Okay, so this was an older bar. As you can see, it has the scent of the month. So you guys that have been with Scentsy longer, maybe you could tell me when was this the scent of the month? I'm thinking this bar might be like a year old because if you can see, look in there. Do you see like how like crummy it kind of got and like juicy? Um, so anyway, I, I have a new bar, but I wanted to melt this one. But I can tell you that if you, if you don't like mint, you'll still probably like pink sugarberry mint because you get more of that berry. However, once the bar sits for like a year and this bar did sit for a while, more of the mint comes out. So if you're not a fan of mint, melt this bar right when you get it. Don't let it sit for six months, a year. Or don't let it cure. Just melt it because that mint is definitely going to come out um, the longer it sits. Okay. Um, good old Clementine cupcake. So I explained this in my other videos. This is like 25% Clementine, maybe 30% maybe Clementine. And 70% just like a, a vanilla cake that is right ready to come out of the oven. Like bubbling over, yummy vanilla. You all know what vanilla cake smells like. It just smells like vanilla cake with some maybe um, like um, clementine or orange peel. Or my mom makes like this, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a glaze. And it's an icing glaze, and she'll add like um, lemon zest or or orange zest. It's so good, you guys. This is a short, short um, acting bar. So when I melt it, usually I only get like six or seven hours out of it. But right now, I'm melting it in my room with. I'm gonna see if I can find it here. My gosh, I have so much stuff. Um, I might not be able to find it. Yeah, I got too much stuff going on here. But right now I'm melting this in my room, Clementine cup, Cupcake with sugar cookie. Now sugar cookie is no longer available in bar form in the regular catalog. But if you open up a Scentsy Club, which is monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly, you could get a brick of sugar cookie. And sugar cookie is amazing mixer. Amazing. So I mix Clementine Cupcake with sugar cookie in my room. It's, it's on day two or day three now. So it's lasting a lot longer. So if you love Clementine Cupcake, but don't like that there's no longevity, add some sugar cookie and it will be amazing. Okay, next one I melted this week was Cashmere and Corduroy. I melted in my open concept. This is definitely worthy of an open concept. It's not like, wow, in your face, gonna, you know, kill ya. But it's it's so pretty. This is, oh man, what is in this? Um, vanilla, bergamot. It's just so smooth and, and just so kind of like a romantic scent to me. Like, I just, I love this bar. I love it. And like I said, you can, it's great for a bedroom or bathroom, but it does well enough in an open concept. So I did use it out here and I just love it. That is not currently in the catalog, but I'm hoping and praying it comes back in the fall and winter catalog this July, or, you know, when that comes out again. Okay, finished another bar in Midnight, Midnight Fig. This is like deep, dark, earthy fig. I happen to love it. I, uh, some people do not. I am on the love end of the spectrum. I'm also on the love end of the spectrum when it comes to 
um, vanilla blackberry, which I'm not going to be able to find here. But I did, here we go, vanilla blackberry. I also, also melted this this week in my office. I love these kind of scents. So vanilla blackberry, to me, it smells like a blackberry and like a cedar. You know, like the, the cedar chest you get? Well, my mom got me one when I was younger, and I, like, stored my wedding dress in it and um, photos and memorabilia. So this smells like cedar and blackberry, and it is sophisticated, and maybe it takes a certain nose to love it, but I absolutely love it. I got, like, 10 or 12 bars of it um, in the flash sale. I don't think it's going to come back because most people don't love it, but... I'm going to find it somehow. If I have to go on Mercari or eBay, I'm finding myself some more of that because it is my favorite. Absolutely love it. And, and Midnight Fig too. It, it's that deep earthy fig. It just got so much depth and dimension. It is so, so pretty. I love it. <clears throat> okay. Sparkling Magnolia. I just got this. I showed you guys this in the last one. I did use the whole bar. Surprise, surprise. This reminds me of something that Scentsy has out. I can't think of it, but this is beautiful, 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 but it is very, very light. Um, and I'm not exaggerating. It is very light. So I have two warmers in my bedroom um, in the warmer tour. I got more warmers now, so I'll have to do a new warmer tour at some point. Plus, I missed an element warmer in my last video, but... I used four cubes of each of this bar, four cubes in each warmer, one in my halogen bulb, non scentsy warmer, uh, four in that warmer, and then four in my pressed tin scentsy warmer, and it was just enough. If I would use any less, I would not have been able to smell it, and my room is not huge. It's a regular size bedroom. Um, so while this is beautiful, um, I don't know, it's, it's going to be a bar that you either have to let cure or use it as a mixer. It's definitely, although it's beautiful, it's not worth picking up another one because, I don't know, for me, it's just so, so light. And the lighter the bar, that means the more wax I have to use. That means the more money I have to spend. So I guess some people like things light. And if you like things light, um, this is beautiful. Pick it up. It's like definitely got like citrus, citrus notes in it. And it, it's beautiful. All right, next bar I melted was graduation. This is still in the clearance section, you guys. Still. This is so pretty. I think this was the moment, yes, the moment by moment collection. A bunch of bars are still in the clearance section on the Sensi website of the moment by moment collection. Um, this is pretty. This is like, there might be vanilla in here or apple. I'm thinking some type of apple. But really, it smells like an old library, and that doesn't sound very appealing. But it, trust me, guys, it is so smooth, and it's really hard to explain, you guys. You got to look at the scent description of this. It it smells really good. Again, though, my only problem with this um, is I picked this up a while ago. I let it cure for about five or six months, so it's not like I just got it and warmed it. And I had to use the whole bar in my bedroom. Um, my nose isn't that bad. My nose is okay. It's just that I really like to smell my scents. Um, and the stronger it is, the less wax I have to use. So, um, I don't know. I might pick up more bars of this. I might not. It's definitely beautiful, but just know that don't, you know, you're not going to want to put this in an open concept. And if you do melt this, melt this in a bedroom and pop an extra cube or two in your warmer. But it is, it is very, very pretty. All right. The next thing I, the next day I did, I'm trying to see, I did this really weird mix in my bedroom and I don't know why I did this, but I did. I grabbed two bars and I just didn't have time. So I mixed Berry Bright, which to me, this is in the spring and summer catalog. To me, this is like a blueberry. This is like a, a mixed berry slash blueberry scent. And it's good. It's very, very sweet. It's like sweet berries, blueberry. Um, and I liked it a lot. But I mixed it with Camu Camu. And I don't know why I mix it with Camu Camu. I don't know why. It's just the first two I grabbed. Now, I love Camu Camu. I love both of them. 
but they're both very, 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 very sweet. Camu Camu is like, again, it smells like tropical fruits. Um, and whatever Camu Camu is, I've never smelled it, but it's beautiful. Um, I highly recommend both of these bars. I just probably wouldn't mix them again because the sweet factor was like, whoo, very sweet. All right, next one I finished off was Disney's Mickey Mouse and Friends. I think this is still in, yeah, this is still in the catalog on the website. This smells, everyone says it, so y'all know what it smells like already, uh, peach rings, like the Harboro candy peach rings. It throws you off because the wax is blue, but it does. It smells like peach rings. And actually, this is really good performer. I melt this out here in my open concept, and I really like it. I, I don't know if I'm going to put it in my club. I might have it in there, but I might take it out because Bring Back My Bar is coming in June. Um, for those of you who don't know, Bring Back My Bar is people vote um, on a bunch of wax bars that they haven't seen in a while um, or since he hasn't had in a while. The votes get casted, um, and then they pick so many bars. I forget the, the number. They pick so many bars, and they come back for like one month. So you have one month to buy them or add them to your club. After that month, they go bye-bye again. So if you really love them, you want to add them. So I'm a Liz, little hesitant to have a huge Scentsy Club. I really don't like having a huge Scentsy Club because I like to try the new stuff. I, I just do. So... Um, yeah, but anyway, very good. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. I do not normally do this, but I put four, four of these in my club. Dumbo. Four. That is crazy. Now, I haven't tried melting this in my open concept. Every YouTube video I watch says it's so light. I'm not getting the light factor. I, I don't understand why everyone says it's so light. I don't know. Is, is my nose broken? This smells like a medium, almost like a medium plus to me on the bottom. It is amazing. It is like a blend of, of fruit. It's like a creamy fruit cocktail. I think there's like pineapple in here. Oh, but it's got this creaminess to it. It, it, you guys, it is so good. I'm going to try it in my open concepts, but I did do four cubes in my bedroom and two cubes in my Preston warmer, two cubes in my nonsensey, very hot halogen bulb warmer. And it like blew the socks off in my bedroom. Like it was, it was nice and strong. I had absolutely no, like graduation. I had a hard time smell smelling, sparkling magnolia. I had a harder time smelling this is not that light. <laughs> so guys, give it a try. It is, if you like creamy fruit, uh, like fruit cocktail type bars, this is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. And maybe let it cure for your, like get it like a six pack and let it cure for a few months. Um, but I personally, I put four in my club and it's staying there. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's see. Right now I have going in my bathroom, um, Better Homes and Gardens, Mahogany and Sandalwood. And this is a nice bathroom scent. It is, um, I picked this up at Walmart. It's white mahogany, sandalwood, birchwood, juniper berry, balsam, amber, and citrus scent notes. It's just nice. It's, it's definitely, it's definitely all those things. Um, if you like sandalwood and amber, it's really pretty. I, I, I really like it. I enjoy this one for my bathroom, um, even a bedroom. I think I melted it there before. The one day I was I woke up and it was like rainy and poopy outside. I was mad. So I decided I want a good bakery. Um, and so these are the bars, the Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart that they smell great. I'm not gonna lie, they're strong. They smell great, but every time I put them in my warmers, every single time, my warming dish gets all charred and like burnt and I got to take it out and I got to scrub it and clean it. Um, so if you want to save a couple bucks, 
I mean, definitely pick up some Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals at Walmart. They smell great. But um, again, you just it's a pain in the butt when you have as many warmers. Like I have six warmers out here now and it's a pain to clean them. But anyway, um, I melted orange cinnamon rolls, which ex smells exactly to the T like a cinnamon roll like those Pillsbury cinnamon rolls that you're pulling out of the oven on Saturday morning. And I used, as a kid, I used to eat like six of those. My mom would be like, stop, stop eating them. And then it's got that little bit, uh, a little hint of orange in it. It was so good. And then I few, threw in two cubes um, in alternating warmers of spicy cinnamon stick. So I made it like a spicy orange cinnamon roll. Now, the spicy cinnamon stick, Better Homes and Gardens, if you like cinnamon, this is red hot, red hot cinnamon. Whew, it's strong and it is strong. Like I used a couple cubes in here and it was almost too much. Um, I think orange cinnamon roll would have been fine on its own, but I was extra and, and melted them both. But if, you, if you're looking for strong cinnamon, go to your local Walmart, pick up spicy cinnamon stick. You will not be disappointed. <clears throat> All right. Um, I melted the Find Your Happy Taste of Summer. Um, okay. So this, I don't know what the scent notes on this, but this smells to me like an Arnold Palmer. It is iced tea and it is lemonade. And it's nice. Um, I like it. It performed really well. It lasted like for an unusually long time, excuse me. Oops. Yeah, it lasted for an unusually long time. It, it was like two and a half, three days. I didn't think it would last that long. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this again. I liked it, but I'm just, I just don't, I guess I wasn't in the mood to have my house smell like tea and lemonade. Um, I like the smell of tea and lemonade. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood. But anyway, it was good. It was still good. Oh my gosh. So much stuff to go through. Okay. Apple Teeny Splash. I melted a whole bar of this in my open concept. You guys, I don't know. I love this bar, but I'm telling you, no one has mentioned this in a video. There is some type of tree note in Apple Teeny Splash. I don't think it says it on in the scent description. But as soon as I put this in, I was like, Christmas, holidays, tree. I would bet my bottom dollar. I would bet everything in my bank account right now that there is balsam, fir, evergreen. There's some type of tree note in here. I really like this one. This, this is really neat. It is a really neat scent. I mean, you definitely get the apple. It's like a tart green apple. And then you get some type of tree note and that's that. I, <laughs> I can smell it. I'm not crazy. Um, next better homes and gardens, desert garden and spa. I melted this in my open concept. I wish I wouldn't have normally these are strong, but this one desert garden and spa was not, this would definitely be a bathroom or bedroom. It is succulent cactus, aloe, crushed lavender, eucalyptus, and sage scent notes. It was very pretty so pretty, but so light. So it would have to be in a bedroom or bathroom. All right. Next one was satin sheets. And like I said, almost all these are in the catalog right now. The only ones that aren't are the midnight fig and the vanilla blackberry, but the rest of these are in catalog. Um, satin sheets, oh, you guys, it smells so good. What is in this? Vanilla. I'm so sorry. I didn't pull up. I didn't have time to do that. I have to go to the grocery store. Um, is it amber or sandalwood? Vanilla. For, forgive me, you guys that know what's in this, but this is, this is such a beautiful, sensual, bar. It's stronger than you think. When you smell it on cold, you're, you'll be like, oh, this is going to be weak. Mm -mm. I did three cubes in my bedroom, two cubes and one warmer, one in the other. It did amazing. It lasted for days. 
such a pretty bedroom scent and such a romantic scent too. Okay. Oh, there's that bar sugar cookie. <laughs> That's the one I mixed with Clementine cupcake I was telling you about. Okay. Went through a scent circle and by the sea. You can't see it because I'm covering it with my finger. By the sea. So that's so weird. I can smell it right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick in my pocket. I'm going to stick in my pocket. Sometimes when I can't smell things in certain places, the reason, but before I do that, the reason why I think Sensi has a problem with getting these scent circles, some of them to last, is if you guys, um, and, and who was talking about this? Linda H., uh, another consultant from Canada, was talking about this one day. And I was like, yes, I'm not the only one who thinks this. Um, when you buy those tree um, air fresheners for your car that you get like like the, not, not Napa, I don't know if you guys have Napa where you are, um, like AutoZone or something, they're, they're, it's like a very rough texture, like a very rough surface. And so those are very strong. But see, this is a very smooth surface and I don't think the scent sticks to this long enough they just wear out. Like you stick them in the car. I'll smell them like a day, maybe two days, depending on the, it just depends on the scent. Um, some of them last a week, some of them do, but I don't know why they don't like repatent the material here and change it so that the scent actually sticks. I'm going to put it in my pocket and I'm going to see if I can smell it throughout the day because for some reason I'm smelling it now, but I could not smell it in my car. Okay. Um, it warmed another, through another Kringle candle, Donut Worry. Um, I think these are like three bucks. If you go on the Kringle candle website, it smells just like, I don't think that the scent notes are here, but you guys, it smells just like, and it's, and it's white, it's white wax, it's white soy. So it's easy to clean up. It smells just like a fried donut. And not like when you walk into Dunkin' Donuts, that kind of donut, like, like a real donut shop where they're like pulling the donuts out of the fryer or like my grandma, my nanny used to make them. Oh, it is good. I also have this in the candle, the Donut Worry candle, which the Kringle um, two Soy two, two Wick candles are on the lighter side, some of them. So that's why I usually get the um, corresponding wax. But this wax is, for me, is a powerhouse, and it smells so good. If you're in the mood to smell donuts, of course. Okay, went through a Blue Grotto. You know it. You love it. This is like lush, tropical, everything. <laughs> it's, it's a lush, tropical, citrus greatness of pretty blue wax. I don't know a single person that does not like Blue Grotto. It, it smells so fresh. It's so fitting for summer. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, next one, Bonfire Beach. Oh my goodness, you guys, Bonfire Beach. I told you in the last video, I had this in the pods in my Sensi Go, and I fell in love. I am in love. Between this and Summer Holiday, these are probably my two favorite bedroom scents. Like. Yeah, pink and sugar, they're nice, blah, blah, blah. I like them, they're in my club. But like summer holiday, it does not need to be summer to melt that. That is the most beautiful bedroom scent. And Bonfire Beach is like that toasted marshmallow with the salty sea air. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so good. It is so, so good. I wish they would come out with Bonfire Beach in like absolutely everything. like. Scentsy Soak. Oh my goodness. So many of these bars I wish would be, there's only like, what, 10 different Scentsy Soaks. And, and I like them all, but I wish there would be a Scentsy Soak in Bonfire Beach. I would scoop that up in a second. Okay, next one was Sensational's Ice Cream Shop. And this I also picked up at my local Walmart. Um, smells just like I'm so sorry I don't have the scent notes. Why aren't they written on here? That's dumb. Isn't that dumb that they don't write them on here? I mean, I'm sure it would be, it would, ugh, now I'm just ripping stuff. Anyway, um, this smells like strawberry to me. Maybe a little bit of ice cream, 
I don't know. It's good. But I, I do get a lot of strawberry. So if you like strawberry, you would like this one. But it's like a creamy strawberry. Almost like Scentsy Strawberry Swirl. Like a strawberry milkshake. It's really good. And, it, and it's a powerhouse. I love this one. You guys, it's really good. Okay. Winding down. Prickly Pear and Agave. This is in the fresh category. Um, I melted this in my room. It's really cool because it's got the pink top um, lid and inside it's got cool green wax. It's very fresh. It's it's more fresh than sweet. Um, and it's just, it's a good one. Very good one for spring and summer. Um, next, aloe water and cucumber. I melted this in my office. Um, you know what? The first time, I, I just made a video about um, strong bars. The first time I melted this, I was very new to Scentsy, so I thought this was really, really strong. Um, I thought it was like a nine or a ten, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say it's, it's like a more like a six or seven now. It's still strong. I mean, it's still you could still melt this in an open concept, but it's not like a nine or ten to me anymore. But it is very nice. Um, but you have to like cucumber because this is heavy on the cucumber. <clears throat> Okay, next one, Plumeria Peach. This is so pretty. Peach, Plumeria. It's a floral peach. Oh, it's so pretty. I only needed to use two cubes in my office, and um, it performed beautifully. Um, last one, I finally got through a bar of Simply Rose, you guys. Finally, it took me months and months and months and months and months and months because I only use one cube of it at a time. But like if you do <clears throat> like, so I have six warmers out here. If you do one cube of Simply Rose, I still like it um, in a warmer. And then in the rest of the warmers, you do say a bakery like vanilla bean buttercream or even something sweet like black raspberry vanilla or sugar cookie. Um, you can handle this. You just get that hint of floral and that that's what I do when I melt it. So it was pretty um, And then last one was hay tiger lily So this is like an orange floral. Um, it's a tiger lily and I was anxious to melt this I put so I was going to bed This was like a couple of weeks ago and I just wanted to smell it. So I stuck one cube in um, the really hot warmer in my bedroom I came in like a half hour later. I'm sorry, I didn't even have to come in. It was wafting down the halls. One cube. So just so you know, guys, <clears throat> hey, Tiger Lily, power house. And if you're buying it to get that orange note, don't. <laughs> if you hate florals, do not get this bar. It's, it is very, 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 very heavy on the florals, but I happen to like it and it's strong. I only need to use one cube um, and, and I, I happen to like it. Like I said, um, I didn't used to be a floral girl a year ago, but um, I'm opening up to so many new things. I literally love every scent category that Scentsy has and I just love Scentsy. Um, I really love these products. Like I said, I try other waxes. Um, I try, I've tried some vendor waxes. I try, you know, the Walmart waxes. Um, but I just always keep going back to Scentsy because the products, they sell themselves. I'm a consultant, um, but I do have a full-time job in the uh, recovery field. And I'm a single mom of a three-year-old. Well, I have two older kids, but I have one that lives with me. She's three. So um, I don't, really have time to chase people down or to send out flyers or to send out sand. Like, I just don't have time to do that. I barely have time to make these videos. So, um, but Sensi sells itself, but I do some advertising on Facebook and obviously I make these YouTube videos. So if I even got a few customers, um, I'd be tickle pink. I'd be so happy with that. Um, but the product sells itself and the more I use it, the more I love it. Um, and I will be forever be a Sensi girl. So, um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hello to everybody out there. I, I love watching your videos. Every time a new one pops up, I get so excited. excited. Um, hi, Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and Robin H. from Canada and Patricia Gates from Canada and Melissa Johnson from here in PA. Woo -woo. 
and um, Marcy Waxy from Michigan, uh, um, Elizabeth here from Michigan too. I love all you guys, and I'm I'm probably missing. I'm so sorry if I'm missing people. Suzanne's with Suzanne Scented World from Florida. I love you. I love her too. Um, did I say Linda H? Um, Brandy's uh, Bars and Bricks, or is it Brandy's Bricks and Bars? Sorry, Brandy. <laughs> I always get that confused. Um, but literally, um, Lisa Roberry, everybody, I love all of you guys. I love that you put these videos out here. I love the content. I feel like we're, we're I feel like we're a family. And I've never met you, but um, I think I was joking with Melissa Johnson in one of the threads. I said, we should all get together and have like a girls weekend. It would be so much fun. Um, but yeah, you guys inspire me and um, I do what I do and I get motivated um, to make new purchases by watching your videos. So thank you for all you do and I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye.